and welcome. My name is Eric from Games by Hyper. And today I'm going to show you a walkthrough of the stone cutting system or the mineable rocks. So let's dive into it. So first, when we start up this project, you will join and enter this uh, example map. First, what we'll show is, okay, what kind of dependencies does this project have? Um, for instance, there's chaos uh, for the chaos rocks. Uh, that's not necessary if you only use the stage rocks. That's not a type I've included. You don't need to. And it uses an enhanced, enhanced input system. So that's, for instance, for these controls like this. For swinging the pickaxe, but also, for instance, opening an inventory uh, system. And this inventory system that you see here is included in the system. Um, it's just here as an example to show how should it work and how to integrate together. Um, furthermore, it shows what kind of components you can add to your character. And uh, in the end, indeed, all the control specifications. So let's go into this example map. And this example map, uh, at the beginning, it shows, okay, it has two types of rocks. It has stage rocks and it has chaos-based rocks. And the chaos-based rocks are, um, of course, based on chaos geometry and you're able to cut it off uh, certain pieces. However, it's more work to set up and, and also can be sometimes a bit unstable and also uh, less predictable because it's more kind of like a mini game. The stage rocks are static mesh only and they are quite predictable uh, uh, because it has a threshold of a certain amount of damage and that is all what it does. Um, so let's first go to these stage rocks. So when we are swinging on the rock, you can see that it will uh, uh, decrease uh, 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 to a different stage. And that's why I call it a stage rock. So now we have destructed this rock and you can see it will spawn ores in every stage. And of course, it's fully configurable. And we are able to pick up the stones that we got from this rock. And as you can see, the rocks uh, that we have uh, harvested are now also in our inventory. And this was stone. Um, I have some coal set up here, some coal ores. I think this is uh, copper. We have some gold. Um, it's also good to know that the veins that you see on the rock, they are integrated into the material. So it's not using any decal or whatever. So it's uh, uh, quite easy to set up. The only thing that you would need to as an input is for this system is a static mesh. And that's it. Um, so let's look at the chaos based rocks. Um, here we can see we have the same uh, types like uranium, silver, iron, gold, copper, coal, and stone. And if we're going to chop, uh, uh, sorry, mine this, you can see it destructs the specific part of the geometry. And um, of course, we are not able to swing on the same position. We need to find a good spot to say, okay, this is where we want to chop a part of next. And I have set up a variable in this uh, rock to say, okay, if a certain amount of rock has been mined, um, uh, spawn in ore. So as you can see, this spore is being, on, uh, is being spawned and you can pick it up and add it to your inventory. And as you can see, uh, eventually it destructs as a wall and I've set up also a amount of a mass threshold to say, okay, when should this complete rock be destroyed as a wall? And this will work the same for every uh, other rock. So yeah, I hope you like it. You can choose yourself which type you will use, the chaos based one or the staged rock. And of course, uh, uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thank you very much and I wish you have a very nice day. Bye. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So 
please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.